Hey, what's up? This is Neen Williams, and today we're gonna make chana masala. This is a plant-based dish. It's like chickpeas in a nice, sweet, salty, like citrusy curry. It's delicious. You got to try this out. It takes about half an hour to make. Really quick, really good. Makes about six servings. So let's do this. I hope you try it out, and I hope you like it. For your veggies, what you're gonna need is a nice sweet yellow onion, about medium size, or a white onion, whatever you choose. We got some diced tomatoes here, what, 28 ounces? That goes well. Two cans of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Each one is 15 ounces. We got a lemon. We got some cilantro, that's about a handful. We got about two tablespoons ginger, fresh ginger. I microplaned it right here with this lovely device. Um, three serranos right there, same thing. Microplaned it into like a nice little paste. And six cloves of garlic. Also microplaned that as well. And for our spice blend, what we have is a teaspoon turmeric powder, a teaspoon garam marsala powder, teaspoon chili powder, tablespoon coriander, tablespoon cumin. We got about two teaspoons coconut sugar, teaspoon kosher salt or so, and two tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice. We got some coconut oil to cook with, and you may need about a half a cup of water. All right, first thing you wanna do is grab your garlic, your serrano peppers, your ginger, and your cilantro, and you could bundle it all up and throw it inside of a food processor and pulse it until it turns into a nice paste, or you could use a microplane, shave it down until it's a nice paste. Put it all together in a bowl, mix it together, boom. There we are. Finally chop your onion. Next, grab your can of tomatoes, crack them open. We're gonna throw them in a blender and puree them. Nice and smooth. We're gonna drain some of this bean juice out of the can. Leave a little in there. Now that we have everything ready, we are now good to cook. Okay, we're gonna warm up our pot to medium high. Put about three tablespoons coconut oil to start. If you need more, add more later. Now we add a tablespoon ground cumin. Mix that all together. And a little bit of salt. Saute your onions for about five to 10 minutes until tender. Now we are going to add our little paste we made with the serranos, ginger, garlic, and cilantro. We're gonna saute that for about a minute with the onions. Get a nice mix. And we're gonna add our teaspoon turmeric, teaspoon chili powder, and tablespoon coriander. We mix it all up, get everything coated nicely. Next, we add our pureed tomatoes to the mix. Garbanzo beans, chickpeas, all that. Mix it all up, add a little more salt. Bring that shit to a boil. Then we're gonna lower the heat and let it calmly simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, 25, whatever it takes, so it's nice and stewy. At this point, you might wanna make some rice. I got some basmati. Rice is delicious for your chana marsala to pour over, or you can make some vegetables, whatever you like. Okay, once you've cooked it down for about 20 minutes, it should be nice and thick, like a stew consistency. Now you wanna try it out. 
make sure everything's right. If you need more saltiness, add more salt. Um, more spice, add more chili powder. Or if you uh, want to cut the heat a little bit, add some of that coconut sugar. I'm actually going to add a little coconut sugar. Now we turn off the heat and we add our garam marsala. I don't know how to pronounce it, garam marsala. I don't know, but it's really good. It's a mixture of a bunch of spices. It really gives it that extra kick. So we got a teaspoon of that. We're gonna add, lastly, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mix that all up. I'll let it cool off a little bit and then you're good to serve over your rice or your veggies or whatever you made. Some fresh cilantro and some lemon wedges to garnish. A lemon wedge on the side, some cilantro to garnish over some basmati rice. Quick, easy recipe and oh so delicious. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Not a damn chance.